Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulonto and I'm a photographer. Today I'm gonna take a photo walk here in this beautiful Serasari um, outdoor museum and recreational area. And as you can see, I'm not walking alone. I have a friend with me, Alexi. You may have seen him before in my videos. And today we have some very important matters to talk about. Very nice. But first things first, which camera did you bring today, Alexi? Today I have my trusty old X-T1, so we're going a little bit back in time, but still a great camera. X-T1, but hey, is there a scratch on the front element? Do I see a scratch? There's definitely a scratch there. I think I got this lens for like 120 euros because of the scratch. And it doesn't really affect the image quality at all. Actually, I say it enhances the image enhances. quality. Enhances! <laughs> Gives some character. And what camera do you have? I have the Canon R100. This is the almost brand new Canon, very affordable mirrorless camera. And uh, I usually only bring one lens when I'm photo walking, but today I have two lenses. I have the kit lens, 18 to 45, and then I have the uh, 28 millimeter f2.8 full frame lens, but it makes a really nice 45-ish equivalent on, on this camera. So, um, two lenses and isn't it cute? Very cute. I, I, like, I like the look of it. Hey Alex, you also own uh, a, at least one Sony camera. How's that old Fuji compared to your Sony? I mean, that is an old camera, X-T1. Yeah, it's an old camera, but somehow just for a change to my Sony's, I like to take this out for a walk. It still creates really nice images and I think everybody agrees that the the film simulations are nice and kind of an old school feel to it. I enjoy it. And you have that uh, enhanced uh, scratchy lens also. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It creates this kind of mood. <laughs> Detail shots. Yeah, detail shots and one thing I wouldn't mind is a, a, a tilt screen. It yeah. would be, make it easier to take pictures like this, but you have to remember the price point of this camera. Yeah, you can't have everything in that price point. Exactly. But hey, Alexi, there's something I want to talk about. Here it what? comes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, be aware. Um, what do you think if a photographer puts a lot of effort, like maximum effort to a picture, does it automatically make it a good picture? Mm, that's a good question. Definitely not automatically. I think I'm of the little bit old school in the sense that the picture has to speak for itself. Like if, if I don't know the backstory, you know, will the picture still say something to me? I think that's more important. I mean, putting a lot of effort into it, spending months or years for, for the picture is all great and fine. So it shows your dedication, but still the picture as a picture has to work, right? The reason I'm asking this is that there is a certain pretty big website, don't want to say or name any names, but they seem to... What? Or websites. <laughs> websites, yes. And they seem to promote the idea that the more you put into a picture, the better the picture is. And they show some samples quite often. And to me, those pictures, usually they, they are not that interesting as pictures. They seem to be like more like interesting scientific experiments or something. But there's a place for that type of photography, like scientific photography that might be interesting from a technical viewpoint. But uh, in, I, I kind of miss in photography nowadays the kind of simplicity of it, the everyday photography type of stuff like Martin Parr, William Eggleston, guys like that who, you know, took the everyday <laughs> yeah, I like picture, the, which is still genius in some I way. I really like the Martin Parr and Eggleston examples because those pictures are, oh, their subjects are really, usually really mundane, but still you want to look at the picture and it's really super interesting compared to some other don't want to 
say any examples here because I don't want to give the impression that I have something against certain photographers, but you know, compared to some other pictures, let's put it this way. I mean, definitely the social media era has kind of propagated this, that every picture has to be epic in some way. <laughs> but not every picture can be epic. I mean, you can try to make it epic with post-processing and all that ah, and, so yeah. on and so on. But, but sometimes it's good to just take normal photos, like let's go and take a picture of a trash can and pretend it's William Eggleston. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite uh, exposure mode today? Today it's a uh, aperture priority with uh, a little bit of exposure compensation. All right. To keep things simple. I almost forgot I have another lens also. Maybe I will switch it now. That yeah. is the problem. If you have too many lenses, you either forget that you have another lens or it's a distraction. That's why I only usually like to take only one lens. The minimalist way of Matti. Yes, I like it that way. Hey Alexi, you also take a lot of photos in India. How do you compare the light over here in the very north part of the world compared to India, which is closer to the equator and uh, it's tropical and obviously the light is not the same? Yeah, it's a good question. I think the light here is a little bit more contrasty. Uh, in at least in Kerala, it's always a little bit diffuse. There's some certain amount of haze because it's tropical and there's the air is very humid. Here I feel it's very like clear-cut lines between dark and shadow, very contrasty. So different, have to take different type of photos. I feel here moody black and whites work well in <laughs> India. Explosions of color. <laughs> what about you? You have a you have a new Canon today. Yes, uh, this R100 is it's a really nice camera. I like it. I mean, it's not perfect, but you have to consider the really affordable price. I think this is the most affordable new mirrorless system camera that you can buy today. So if you think about that, I think it's a really, really nice camera and it's not intimidating. The, the exterior design, it's looks, it looks really pretty and I think when you see this camera, you know, in the in the camera store on the shelf or, you know, on the desk, you you want to buy it. It it looks really nice. If I would have to render a guess, it's something where you put food or some other items back in the day, so you know, pests and so on wouldn't get to them. That would be my uneducated guess. The light definitely is different uh, if you compare this and some of the more southern countries. But also the lack of people is quite staggering. There is no one here anywhere. Are you actually doing street photography here? Yes, <laughs> now that I see two people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two people. Wow, I think you beat me to it. I only have buildings so far. <laughs> My fight against the windmills continues. Windmills always evoke a nice feeling for some reason. I like them. Do you like them? Uh, I have no uh, preference. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a, you don't have a windmill fetish? No, not, not that I can confess at least. Yeah, I didn't know I have one actually, but I just <laughs> made it up. Yeah, definitely it's more about compositions and shapes and geometrics and spaces here rather than a lot of activity on the streets. Matti and nature photography. Yes, I'm a landscape specialist today. <laughs> Maybe by accident you caught some rare species in there. <laughs> by accident. That is the, the key word here. <laughs> <laughs> Not putting effort of three months or, <laughs> or one year into your efforts. My effort is 30 seconds maximum today. <laughs> yeah. I like this building a lot somehow, how the ramp climbs up to the building. I've tried to photograph it many times, but not sure how they turned out. Hopefully this one works out. through the leaves. This is the classic cliché picture that everyone has to take every once in a while. Through the leaves, 
into the sky. <laughs> I think it's been a super nice day here in Seurasari Outdoor Museum. It's full of photogenic old buildings and stuff like that. And the day is perfect for a, a photo walk. Yeah, definitely. I, I love coming here sometimes because it's a relaxing place. A lot of heritage buildings from all over Finland. It's a good place, good place for photography. If you're in Helsinki, check it out. Thanks guys for joining in. And uh, now we are looking for a hot cup of coffee. It's Today is not too hot for a hot cup of coffee. Thanks guys for joining in and definitely see you in the next video. See you guys.